Hey everyone, today we actually are going to talk about Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered uh, because there's new information coming out about the online play, additional content, by the way, there's a lot of additional content, and I feel like we should talk about this specifically because we are actually giving away a copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition this month. All you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, we're also on our road to 50,000 subscribers, and if we can hit 50,000 subscribers before November 1st of 2020, we will be giving away an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or a Nintendo Switch, so let's go, let's hit 50k. All right, so... We're talking about Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered because a bunch of news has come out. Uh, and I think we're going to start with the uh, positive news uh, because I like to get a little positivity going about this game because I am genuinely excited for this game. I played Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on GameCube growing up. Played local co-op like crazy with Eric from the Nintendo Prime Podcast and other friends. Uh, we had a group of friends that specifically we would get together about once a week for many, many weeks, even into our adulthood. And would play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Uh, and now we have a remastered edition coming, which is really, really exciting. It looks gorgeous. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty stoked to actually get to play this game, especially if they've improved the single-player aspect a little better. But um, what happened now, what we got announced officially by Square Enix, is that there are, is going to be some brand new content experiences in the post-game. In specific, there will be 13 post-game dungeons which is massive number of extra dungeons added to this game and makes the uh game definitely more worth purchasing for those that are fans of the old one but maybe we're thinking about passing on this one for uh, some reasons we'll get into later um square enix shared that the post-game dungeons are actually going to be quite a bit harder than what's available in the base game so these are for you know veterans of the game are going to find a challenge in these dungeons um you'll get new equipment and item recipes that weren't available in the original game so they're going to have that as well uh, there's going to be new accessories weapons and armor so a bunch of new content in this game uh you'll also be able to use crystal memories in these post-game dungeons that allows you to use moves previously unique to bosses so crazy crazy stuff i can't wait um this is what we need to happen with with, with remasters remakes all that jazz we need to see this amount of new content uh, to start justifying the price points that they sometimes come out at but hey that's cool that's great this is like uh, just more and more hype building up for the, our, our giveaway this month right like man look how good this game's going to be but there's been some criticism about this game because the one of the biggest things about Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles back on GameCube was that it was a local co-op game. So you could play single player, but you would also be able to play local co-op, even though it required link cables and, and Game Boy advances and stuff. It didn't matter. You could still do it, and it was a lot of fun. I mentioned earlier about playing with Eric and other friends once a week. Well, um, they decided to add online play. So to counteract the lack of local play there is online play which sounds amazing sounds great uh and is something that was missing in the original game i don't think online play should exist in lieu of local play but in the middle of a pandemic when maybe we're not gathering with friends as much you know maybe it won't feel like as big of a deal at least for now but of course they couldn't just give us you know online play and call it good they had to make it more convoluted and even restrictive in some ways based on two brand new news pieces that came out from square enix um so uh we know that it obviously adds that, that the online play to the classic experience uh and it even has cross play believe it or not so the switch playstation 4 and mobile versions of this game will all have cross play which should increase the user base uh but um there's a screenshot from the game and i'll show it to you guys right now uh, that indicates not only will Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition utilize friend codes for players, so not usernames, friend codes, it will also have a separate six-digit friend code. So it's going to be using friend codes from the Switch in addition to another friend code on top of that. So it's friend codes on top of friend codes to play on Switch. Now, this obviously won't be the case on uh, mobile or PlayStation 4 where they don't use friend codes. So there'll be the six digit friend code and that's it. Uh, it's going to be the Nintendo Switch friend code and then on top of that, the six digit friend code to play with other people from Switch. It's, it's to me, utterly asinine uh, this is gonna happen. It says these codes seem to pertain to your party number, which can be a search and joined by other players. Furthermore, these numbers will only last for 30 minutes when a new six digit number will be distributed. So you have to add your friends through friend codes and then you have to share the six digit number. This is insane. The, this is extremely convoluted, um, and there's tons of cross-platform games out there that handle online play that do not do things this way. This is absolutely ridiculous, um, and 
I, I honestly think that this is just horrible. I mean, granted, the initial friend code barrier, that's Nintendo's fault. But the second code, like, there's better ways uh, to handle online cross-platform play than to use codes. But beyond that, and this is maybe the worst news because that's just, like, a little tedium. You still can play online, still have fun. Okay, it's a little tedious, but who cares, right? At least you can still do it. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition, its online play is region locked. Yes, folks, region locked. One of the worst things you ever want to hear about online multiplayer games is a region lock. All right, so Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered allows you to hop into an online game with other players on Switch, PlayStation 4, mobile devices. That's a really great feature. Cross-platform. Uh, Square Enix also confirmed the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition is region locked when it comes to online play. You'll only be able to play with others who are in the same region. Along with that, you will need a paid online subscription to take advantage of online, be that on the Switch or the PlayStation. So regardless, you know, mobile doesn't have that, but if you're on Switch or PlayStation, you have to have paid online service. So you have to have paid online service to be restricted in who you play with. Now, me in the United States, I don't know that my region is going to have much of a problem finding people, but you won't be able to play with friends that are maybe in other countries uh and that's a pain in the butt you won't be able you know if you're in a country or in a region in particular that this game isn't very popular in and you pick it up you're not going to be able to find people to play with this is why region locking sucks there's not really a logical reason to do region locking in in this day and age there used to be and i get that for the one logical reason you could throw out there is for latency purposes but honestly you should just offer the option to search by region or search worldwide and let people um do what they want so if i want to play with some friends i have out in europe i can actually go play with them instead um i am stuck you know with only the friends i don't have in real life uh so this is kind of a pain in the butt uh, and something that I wish was going, I, I wish region locking would just go away in general or, or just be there as an option for those that maybe want to create better latency, you know, as an example, uh, in Madden, if they ever, you know, make cross platform play, which they absolutely should, uh, they should open it up so you can play with anyone worldwide, not just locally. Uh, and I, I just think that this is just all utterly ridiculous. Uh, but whatever, the game still looks good. It still has all this extra content. It's still going to be a lot of fun to play single player, uh, let alone with friends online. Online play is a, an, 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 a, an addition to the game that is worthwhile, even if they're making it a little bit more tedious and also restricting it a bit. But hey, it's better to have it than not have it. Um, I wish we had this kind of online play with things like Mario Party or Super Mario Party rather than the really shoddy mini game only only some mini game really weird online play that that game actually has um anyways you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below be sure to enter that giveaway uh also uh hey why not uh subscribe to the channel let's get the 50k also uh, i'm releasing a, a video today uh over on my second channel which I'll put a link down in the description. My second channel, which is just my name, Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz, uh, is a channel where I think I'm going to be covering a lot of sports stuff over there, uh, whether it's playing uh, sports video games like Madden and, and making videos about that, uh, or my video I have going out today, which is about the Milwaukee Bucks and their road to the finals and how the Orlando Magic awoken, you know, woke up the giant. Uh, I got a video going up about that as well. So be sure to tune into that channel uh, and, and check it out if you care about sports. It won't just be talking about like the Packers, Bucks, um, etc. The all the Wisconsin teams because those are my teams. We'll be talking about other teams as well, especially as requested uh, by people in the comment section on those videos. Uh, so yeah, be sure to, to, to check that out. It's a video I'm doing. For, uh, it's a, another channel I'm doing for fun uh, because I really like sports. All right, folks, I'll catch you guys in the next video.